Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today, well, we've got quite the project on our hands here. Follow along, let's see what we can do with it. All right, let's talk about the main piece here. <laughs> well, even the drawers don't want to stay in. So what we're gonna do with this piece is we're gonna leave the top three drawers here. We're gonna pull the bottom two, bottom section, bottom two doors behind me here, and we're gonna rip all of this out. It's broken wood here, missing wood here. We got a, quite a bit of stuff ahead of us to fix on this one. Now, let's look at that nightstand. <laughs> we got a hook as one of the handles. So this set has not been taken care of. So we'll figure out something to do with this since we're gonna change this from a dresser and turn it into more of a wine cabinet slash buffet type thing. We'll see how it comes out. So first step is we're gonna remove all the drawers, remove all the tracks, and start breaking this piece down. Nightstand, well, we're gonna put that aside for right now. All right, so we got the drawers out. Got well, all the junk out of the inside. <laughs> Crazy stuff in there. So what we're gonna do is you can see this piece is all busted up. This is all loose and well, missing a door for the front. The bottom half of this thing is a pile of junk, put it honestly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bust everything out here and then we're gonna rebuild this bottom into something as a square box. Now. Luckily, when I took everything out, I found this piece. So we glued it back in, got it set, made sure the drawers would work on both sides, no issues there. We're gonna pull these tracks. Some of these tracks are savable, so we'll hold on to those, maybe for a future project that needs one. So, let's get started. starting to take form, moved all of this. Now what we're gonna do is just wood putty all the holes that we created and uh, fill all the screw marks, everything like that. And then as we do that, uh, we'll let that dry. We'll get some sanding going on this piece and then we'll start on that nightstand. I'm gonna use uh, normal wood, uh, wood putty, fill in all the holes, so let's begin. Now we can start building this base here. So what we did is bought a four by eight sheet of plywood. And well, we've already cut it to the depth and I created a couple notches so we can fit it into this groove so it sits behind the sides here. So let's see what it looks like now.
now what we'll do is we're going to build two wine boxes on each side of this, which will hide the back side in there. And, well, then we'll have a little space here, three drawers, and it's going to look pretty cool. So let's get started building these boxes. We need measurements to create our squares, both sides. So what we do over here, we're going to duplicate. Let's get started. All right, we're progressing here. We've got our boxes, which are just sitting in there. Now what we've done is cut, cut our angle pieces here, and we're gonna slide two together to create the X. And I went halfway across, halfway up the board, and created my lines. I'm gonna make them a little bit thicker than the board. That'll give us a little bit of playroom with this. And, well, I'm gonna start with my blade up here, cut my hole, do two skill lines down, and then we can get started sanding on this piece. So let's get started. All right, we got our base, boxes, and inserts that we gotta sand so we can get them prepped for staining. So let's get started. All right, let's get started. We've got our boxes that we'll do, our inserts, our floor. We're gonna get them all stained, let them dry, and then we can start painting the piece. Now, I've got a brush, I've got a dry towel, and I've got our Jocko bean stain that we're gonna use today. So, let's get started. close let's paint the drawers the frame even inside where it's gonna be shown without the wood we're gonna paint that too uh, two coats bare priming paint it's just a black wedge brush two inch one of my favorites so let's get started All right, two coats on, we've let it dry. Now what we're gonna do is scuff it up a little bit. Now, this is a step that you could skip if you wanted to keep it solid, but I wanna give it a little vintage, a little worn in look. So we're gonna just add a little scuff to it. Just using the old sandpaper that I used to sand everything down, and we're just gonna scuff up the edges, give it a worn in look.
here it is completed. Remember what it looked like when we started? Busted out doors, broken pieces everywhere. We got it all fixed. Then we added all the wine, which is, well, my favorite thing to add. <laughs> so we kept some of the interior of it, some of the drawers. We painted it black, scuffed it up, added the wood, gave it a dark Jacoba bean stain. And well, the end result's pretty nice. Leave us a comment, tell us what you think about it. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Vintage Statements. And well, we'll keep doing some pretty cool projects for you.